Right, welcome to another video. This massive pile of resin is the Goblin Humongous. As you can remember from the film, when the door closes and the big machine, the big goblin mech strides forward, that's him. Uh, so it's not a hugely complicated kit, but there are a few things you have to uh, think about. So one, first of all, is test fit everything so you know how things go together before you start gluing them. And obviously wash the whole model in warm soapy water either before you do any trimming or after you're doing any, trim any trimming of the model. So we've got a couple little tabs on the bottom of the feet here. So just gently clip those off and then carve them down and or sand them down, whichever you prefer. It depends how confident you are with the scalpel or with sandpaper. It is um, fairly obvious which way things go, so just try things out and just pop things where you think they should go and they will fit if they're meant to do that. Um, and obviously they won't if they're not meant to. Now for the, for the legs, base and the bottom of the torso, you can use super glue if that's all you've got. There's a, it'll create a strong enough bond. Uh, but I decided to use some, something called two-part epoxy uh, which is a very very strong glue which will give me a, a really incredibly strong bond between these sort of core parts of the model so if you get one that's uh, you squeeze out the two-part epoxy onto a, a piece of card and just mix it thoroughly until it's a uniform color or clearness I think is probably the best way of describing it use a cocktail stick um, to spread it over where you're going to glue and try not to get any drips everywhere because it's it's very sticky and can leave quite a mess if you get it in the wrong place obviously if you are not familiar with modeling techniques and glues and things like that then ask for some help from somebody um, or just use super glue super glue will do the job just make sure you get a decent amount into the feet the uh, the feet or foot holes on the base Now it takes about, uh, this is a five minute setting epoxy, um, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely set hard in five minutes. Uh, it just means that the parts will be attached in five minutes. So it's worth setting this, this to one side for, for sort of 20 minutes to half an hour to, to let it fully set and get really, really hard. So whilst that's curing, let's take a look at the, the main torso. Now what I've done with the main torso, I've left it separate from the rest of the body and will do so uh, permanently because it's easier to paint it. Uh, looking at the pilot, you can make sure you trim any excess uh, resin from off the bottom of the uh, the pilot so he can sit in his position correctly and off the uh, arms, 
which also have the levers on them as well. And the arms will only fit in one way and they'll sit against the body quite nicely. There's a sort of um, indentation where they should go. So the easiest way I found of doing this was to glue the arms on first and then glue the pilot into the torso. On the outstretched hand there is a, a little indent on the underside of the arm where part of the lever fits. So if you look very, very closely, I'll point it out here in a second. There we go. Just gotta make sure the lever sits against that. So if you place it on and just twist it gently, it'll, it'll not lock into place, but you can feel that it's that's how it's meant to be. So we'll just glue that in place. the pilot in. We can pop his head on now. There is a little resin gate underneath his head uh, just on the underside which you'll want to trim off as well. And he looks pretty good sat in there. for the humongous will fit over the top of him as well um, I would leave this well th this is entirely up to you you can glue this down if you want to um, I would say probably don't want to do that because you want to be able to paint and see the pilot as well so next up are the metal spikes on the base so if you pause the video and have a look at each spike they're all very similar and they'll each only fit in one place but the order I've got them here is how they fit on onto the base. Obviously beforehand make sure you clean them up and make sure there's no mold lines or anything on them. This is how it looks with the torso on. Uh, it's a very big model, so you just be careful with it. And obviously I've left the torso uh, completely separate. And these shoulder pieces click into place. Well, they don't click into place, but they, uh, they have a very, uh, very positive connection. They will only fit in one way, but just make sure you pay attention to which one is which have a look at this video make sure you're getting them in the right place when you glue them if you you can use super glue um, that'll be perfectly fine I used epoxy again for these and put some tape around whilst it was whilst it was drying and setting So now that that's all set, we can take, take
take the tape off and start assembling the rest of the arms. Again, the arms will only fit in one place, so just make sure you pay attention to which one goes where, and the axe head will sit on the, uh, the right hand side of the model, which will be our right and his left. you do find that you're struggling or you uh, struggling to get it to fit at all um, if you haven't cleaned up the surface properly uh, for any particular reason on on any of the arms uh, a quick tip is to pop some black paint on there place it in where it should go and give it a quick twist and, and a wiggle and then where uh, the areas that haven't been cleaned up properly will be present uh, the paint will rub off onto so we can see there's a few areas where we just need to trim down a few bits so we'll just sand the top down here just because that's part of where it was rubbing on the arm and now we've got a much more positive connection between the, uh, the arm and the shoulder. Perfect. Once that's glued in, we want to assemble the axe, um, axe handle, it's generally called the haft. There is only one way for this to go and you'll need to line up the, the grain of the wood. You'll see that they'll match, the grooves on the handle will match. So that's the way you want to glue it in. You can put those arms together. Like so. Again, I've just used super glue on these bits. You can use epoxy if you want to. So now you can fit the body onto the legs. Obviously, you can you can glue it at this point if you want to. Um, I would advise possibly not because it would be much easier to paint in two halves. Um, and we can put the axe head on now. Now the axe head only does fit one way. If you have a look inside the head of the axe, there are very slight grooves which will match up to the grooves on the axe handle itself and just pay attention to how it feels when you put it on if it doesn't feel like it's going to line up straight turn it around and have another go 
this is why we always test fit things. Got to make sure you know how it's going to go before you glue stuff down. There we go, that's the axe head glued on. And him in all his glory. It's a very, very imposing model. And once it's painted up in whatever style you choose, it will be a fantastic display piece. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed watching the, this video. Um, we have lots more from Broken Toad, Black Sun and Jim Henson. And we shall see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.